are you thinking about moving to Holly Springs, North Carolina? By the way, Holly Springs is a suburb. Yes, it is a beautiful suburb of Raleigh, North Carolina. Well, if you are, then you have come to the right place. In this video, I am going to take you through Holly Springs and I'm going to show you three different neighborhoods in three different price points so we can see exactly what might fit into your budget. And if you stick around till the end, I'm going to show you a hidden gem that not a lot of people know about. <music> If this is your first time on the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Raleigh or in Holly Springs or any of the suburbs here in North Carolina, please subscribe. Click the notification button um, because we do post videos every single week and you might want to be the first one to learn about the current real estate market here in North Carolina. We do get a lot of calls and a lot of text messages and we get a lot of emails um, from people just like you every single day and I absolutely love it. My team loves it as well. So please hit us up um, whether you're looking to move here in nine days or in 90 days. It really doesn't matter. We'd love to hear from you and help make that transition here to North Carolina a smooth and happy one. All right, so let's dig into some really cool facts about Holly Springs. What makes this place so special? Why does everyone want to move here? Well, I'm guessing that one of the biggest things is it is really a very safe place to be. So if you are considering relocating to the Raleigh area and you're not wanting to be in the middle of the city but you want something safe, what better place to choose than Holly Springs which actually was voted as number one safest place in the state by SafeWise. Um, so they looked at the crime rate, the uh, property crime rate is the lowest in the state or it was in 2021 and it was the third safest place from a perspective of violent crime rates so definitely something to consider um, generally all of the suburbs of Raleigh North Carolina are safe it's such a such a nice place to be um, however if that is one of the biggest things that matters to you and to your family definitely put Holly Springs on your radar okay besides that I am actually here in front of my all time favorite place I am definitely a person that enjoys history being from Romania I love older homes I love architecture I love interesting facts about places about um, about buildings and this is the one building that I want to share something with you uh, about and it is actually called the uh, Leslie Alford Mims house it was built in the 19th century and it is actually listed on the National Register of Historic Places so it's definitely a um, historic homes and they are actually hosting weddings here as you can see I am right across from a church here so I think it makes it makes this building a great place for private receptions for weddings in a setting that is not uh, not I'm not sure you know I think I was reading online and they were having pricing from $35 per person to am I right like 350 or, or something more I apologize I don't remember all I know is that a lot of uh, our clients that have relocated to, to North Carolina and to Holly Springs were mentioning the home and the venue as being one of the best and very very um, I guess just um, chic and elegant and not too much right so it's just enough to where you can host a beautiful wedding in downtown Holly Springs so um, this is the this is just kind of the side of the church so you can see and I am literally in downtown so I will be walking you to show you a little bit more and um, also just telling you some more facts about living in Holly Springs so if you don't know anything about about this place 
I will just tell you that it is about 20 miles or so from Raleigh, puts you around 24 miles from the RTP or from the, actually from the airport. I guess a lot of you are wondering about how far it is from the airport. About 12 miles to Cary, six miles or so to Apex, which is the closest town a lot of people love Apex as well and we do have other um, vlogs and we definitely covered Apex. So this small town feel, very charming. Um, there's a cute cemetery nearby as well. Um, shopping, pretty much everything is here in, um, in downtown and great homes. Of course, we will be going and showing you the three neighborhoods as usual so you can get a quick idea of what can you find here in Holly Springs um, but let me take you more to the main street and um, and show you what Holly Springs has to offer welcome to Main Street I've made it and I want to share with you some quick facts about this area which is considered the downtown village district it includes the town hall, which is right there, the Holly Springs Cultural Center, which is kind of that way, you can't see it, but I will definitely show it to you, the library, the Hunt Recreation Center, and if you are interested in opening a business here in Holly Springs, downtown has about 60 businesses already, and the co-working station near town hall is home to about 20 businesses. So if you are into moving here to North Carolina and having your own business, if you don't want to work from home, you can come here to the co-working station as well. And you can have really good food here. You can have some really good beer. I'm not sure if you know, but the Bombshell, <laughs> which is not here, but let me show you a little bit more. So the Bombshell Beer Company um, is actually one of the first female owned breweries in um, North Carolina. And there's plenty of other places that are awesome. There's sushi here, there's great pizza, hamburgers, and of course, the place that I'm about to share with you at the end of the video that is absolutely outstanding. So, um, also small boutiques here. So if you're into buying your clothes in a, if from, not going to the mall, but just going to like small little boutiques just like this one, look at that bless your heart <laughs> that is definitely a southern saying that you will be hearing a lot once you come down here so let's take on this all right so you guys the one cool fact that i personally did not know about um when it comes to holly springs is the fact that it hosts the world's largest indoor and outdoor action sports complex it's the largest one in the world 37,000 square feet of riding terrain. It's called Daniel Durs. Um, it's a very, very family oriented facility. It definitely is year round. Um, however, you know, the cool thing about here, North Carolina, is that the weather is very nice pretty much year round. So it's great to have such a sports facility around for the one month when it's a little bit colder however um, North Carolina has great weather we are right now at the end of September and it's very nice and hot as you can see it's actually gonna be a very very hot day today and then it's gonna cool off so Daniel there's sports facility the biggest one the largest one in the world right here in Holly Springs North Carolina um, also what I will be doing is I'll be driving and showing you a little bit of Bass Lake so um, you know just a beautiful lake where you can go bank fishing um, they you can have your own little event there they have a floating deck, uh, dock they um, have a conference room um, it, it's really nice uh, and so it's it's about 10 minutes or so drive from here from downtown uh, with that in mind oh you know what there's one more thing that I want to add about Holly Springs just from an economical perspective and for you to see if you are into um, into pharma cell culture um, and probably you already know by now that Fujifilm Dyson Biotechnologies is coming here to Holly Springs and they're bringing some really cool jobs so um, yeah probably you are moving here because of that and uh, it's something that Holly Springs is definitely very proud about as a town. 
so let's go and see the lake and then we will go and see the neighborhood so guys just as as I'm walking here just to show you what I was just telling you about about how people are moving here and they like the small town feel actually got to meet two amazing women so I just wanted to ask them do you like the small town feel here in Holly Springs oh, Yes, you yes, do like I it. I really like it. Yeah, I was in Morrisville actually a couple of years ago. Yeah, but uh, I don't want to live anymore in busy like a Kerry, Morrisville, and on. It's too busy. Yeah, I really like Holly Springs. It's so yes. quiet, nice, clean, peaceful. Oh, thank you so much for <laughs> yeah, sharing that with so me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Well, it's, it's grand and beautiful. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh yes, where should I go and grab the best food? The oh, food. Yeah. Which one? Oh, oh, the one that we went, it was a sushi. A sushi? Sushi? Like, like sushi? Yes. Chinese, like uh, Oche. And there Oche. is a beautiful Mamma Mia Italian. Oh, you guys, I'm up for sushi and Mamma Mia. Thank you so much, ladies. I appreciate it. Okay, so it's crazy. As I was walking, they were like, what are you doing? And I said, I'm doing a vlog about Holly Springs for all the people that are relocating here. So. Um, they said, yeah, we came here from Mor Morrisville as well. And I said, oh my God, that's exactly what I was telling everyone about, about the small town feel and about people just wanting to be here and not be in the craziness. Now, mind you, when I say craziness about Kerry, I don't mean it's crazy busy. I mean, if you're coming from California or from Europe, like I did, that's, you, you can't compare it, right? However, for people that are very used to not a lot of traffic, they just want as I said, quiet and peace and maybe a little bit more land. This is the place to be. So, okay, this is the town hall, okay? Just showing you around. I am in the um, downtown village district and, and town hall, the town hall, the cultural centers and the library, which is actually just, you can't see it here, but I will record it for you so you can see it. It's part of the village district. So all this area is the village district. The, also the hunt recreation center is here um, you can actually find the game room fitness center there an elevated track and um, actually where you can enjoy yourselves during the summer at the Holly Springs Cultural Center and Library that's where they're actually hosting their outdoor and uh, indoor concerts I think I could just wait here and cross the street it's cool because you can see there's the orthodontics there's the town hall commons right there. So I am right here on the main street. That is where the cultural center and library is. I'm going to go there as well, but it's probably a little bit too far for me to walk there right now. So I'm just gonna cross the street and see. Oh, look, that's the OSHA, the sushi that they were mentioning. It's right there. See, that's where all the, the, the tables are. All right, I guess I'm not going to be able to cross right now. Here we are at our first neighborhood in Holly Springs called Arbor Creek. I'm super excited because if especially if you're relocating, right? You're moving to Raleigh and you're like, you know, we don't wanna we don't wanna rent because renting might cost us a lot of money, like two thousand bucks per month or so um, for a home. We wanna buy something, but we don't know if we can afford something in a great neighborhood that has a pool, maybe playgrounds close to shopping. Well, definitely check out this neighbor neighborhood here called Arbor Creek. Arbor Creek and this particular home that you're seeing here right now is at $395,000. It's a very established neighborhood. This home was built in the 1990s, so 1997, 1998. You can buy a home under $400,000 right now in a prime neighborhood, about 30 minutes to 
Durham to the RTP to uh, the International Airport. You are super close to Apex, Holly Springs, Cary. And this has four bedrooms, three bathrooms. You also have a garage, about 4.18 acres. So you definitely have a little bit of a yard. I do see that there's a trampoline there. You have plenty of park, parking space here. And so, you know, you don't have to go out and rent. Rents are increasing like crazy right now. So talk to me about getting a home in an ideal neighborhood in Holly Springs, 400 or below 400, totally doable right now in this market. So this is it, it's active on the market right now about the neighborhood so you do have and of course i'll be driving you and showing it to you the pool a big pool with a kiddie pool you do have a clubhouse that you can rent out if you are a homeowner there are townhomes in this neighborhood as well just an fyi so if you own a home or a townhome you can rent the clubhouse out you can um walk well maybe not but you can definitely bike to shopping you're right off of 55 highway 55 very close to highway 540 close to the hospitals close to amazing schools just look up holly springs holly ridge apex friendship as a as a high school so really amazing area so let me drive you to the pool so i'll show you some other homes around on my way to the pool all right let's get to the pool this is one playground that you can check out and let me show you some more homes as you can see big backyards fence oh there's a tree house there very cute several homes for sale here so i'm happy i have the opportunity to show you guys a good price point in an established neighborhood with plenty of things to do so i arrived at the pool right here right at the entrance to the neighborhood what is this okay so this is uh, the garbage area and that is okay that is a preschool just uh, a very good note for all of the families who have smaller kids that the preschool is right there at the entrance to your neighborhood so i'm not going to even stop the car just this is the parking lot here and let's look at little picnic area nice covered playground and that is the pool a oh, little baby area kitty pool here and that's where the pool is. There's still a lifeguard. Again, I do not really like to, uh, to go and enter any areas that I'm not a member of. I wouldn't want someone to go in and most occasions you're not allowed to go in. Like you, you know, it's a safety thing. So just showing it to you from the outside. Again, Arbor Creek very nice neighborhood very affordable pricing so let's go to our second neighborhood which is 12 oaks you are going to see a very very established and big development with a lot of custom homes expensive homes golf course pool playgrounds um, pickleball tennis courts uh, it's about 10 minutes drive from here so just so you know um, that has 800,000 million dollar homes and this one here is a half of the price for a much lower HOA fee. So definitely first time home buyers, definitely investors. Look it up, Arbor Creek right here off of um, 55. So I'll see you in our second neighborhood. Hey everyone, welcome to our second neighborhood, 12 Oaks. If you just look at top rated neighborhoods in North Carolina, 12 Oaks, I can assure you, will always be there this is one of the neighborhoods that i wish i would live in um, i live in Cary currently however because of the amenities because of how 
new the homes are and how diverse the homes are uh, definitely something for you to consider so um, this home here right here is listed at six hundred and fifteen thousand dollars actually <laughs> just as an fyi we just went under contract on this property with my clients that absolutely love it so it's 2400 square feet three bedrooms three bathrooms it is a 1.5 story so it's not two stories it's not a ranch it's a 1.5 story it has an amazing three seasons room out um, in the back so it's not a porch they transformed it into a three seasons i'm sorry i'm trying to get out of the sun as much as i can um two car garage the lots here in this particular location of 12 oaks are not the biggest um, but you do have a lot of great amenities. So there's a lot of award-winning builders that have built sections of 12 Oaks. You are going to find more expensive homes as well. But for example, this one was built in 2017, very affordable. What you need to look at and dig, dig a little bit deeper into is just the fees that you might be paying. Let's say if you wanna join, be a member, um, of the 12 Oaks community or you know maybe play golf at this prestigious golf course here um, you you might need to pay additional fees for what I have for you right now is 109 101 was it per month for one HOA fee I think it was 109 um, and the other fee was $443 per quarter and that covers the clubhouse and the pool maintenance of the common area so uh, a lot of uh, amenities here right so from tennis pickleball several pools for small and big um, you have a state-of-the-art golf course like I said um, a lot happening here so if you become a member you do have access to the golf you have access to you know everything that's happening in the clubhouse I know they have really good food as well so really a one-stop shop um, you are also very close to 540 you are close to downtown Raleigh you are close to Apex Cary you could just hop on the highway and be at the airport in about 25 to 30 minutes depending on traffic so definitely a prime location with newer homes and award-winning builders so if you are looking at something newer look at several phases of 12 oaks several price points and i can just walk you through everything and tell you exactly all the details which i'm you know i don't have time to go through right now but keep this neighborhood in mind let me just drive to the neighborhood right now and show you some more homes and show you the amenities that i was talking to you about all right so as i was driving through the neighborhood here in 12 oaks i noticed that there's this home here that is for sale that's one million four hundred and twenty five thousand dollars it's a four bedroom home and uh, <laughs> it is literally about one minute drive from the one that I just showed you at 615,000. Just to reinforce again the fact that 12 Oaks is a fairly big neighborhood with very different price points. So do not get discouraged if you if you like 12 Oaks but you cannot afford million or 900 or um, even 800, just know that there are definitely many options that you can choose from from here and you do not have to be um, a member of the golf course you can just pay the social membership of 109 every month um, and then of course the additional HOA fee that I was mentioning to you about so let's go and see the pool and the clubhouse area so regardless of the heat here it is the entrance to 12 Oaks Beautiful, private, elegant. Here are the homes, playground. The golf course is right there. Let me take you there. Et voila. Part of the golf course and the pool. So 
now that we saw 12 oaks let me take you to the next neighborhood all right you guys so i have just parked and i am taking you to this home right here so i can show you the front this home was listed at nine hundred and forty nine thousand dollars it is on a corner lot as you can see and it is on 0.3 acres not a lot of usable yard i have to say i wish the yard was more usable however it is 5,000 square feet six bedrooms five baths built in 2014 and it is located in prestigious westcott when you say westcott you say oh my god yeah the homes were built in the 2000s they have big lots they have a lot of very private backyards they are about 30 minutes or so to durham they are very close to the international airport as well to apex to carry to morrisville to shopping to pretty much everything and you can get something at 5,000 square feet built in 2014 um at or under one million dollars um so westcott is actually a fairly small neighborhood it has about 200 homes and it has 12 builders the presence of 12 builders in this particular neighborhood which is really cool because every home as you can see here every home could look very different right not all of them are cookie cutters which is something that i actually love i do not like seeing everything looking the same all the time so let me take you and show you the backyard and then of course i will take you to show you the pool and some of the other homes in the neighborhood but definitely keep westcott in mind um what else can i tell you uh, yeah a, a really cool fact about this place that i love is the fact that it is very close to um sunset lake so it's a very very cool lake and also um the pool the membership itself for like the HOA fee is about $175 or so per quarter um, and you do you you do have about maybe two miles or so um, to get to the Middle Creek uh, uh, disc golf course which is really really cool if you're into that type of sport so let me show you the backyard here okay as I said, not the best, not the most usable. This is a cul-de-sac, so it's very, very private and very silent. And this is the yard. No, I don't want to <laughs> invade anyone's privacy, but yep, they have a nice little um, table, plenty of space if you want to, to work or do whatever you want. If you want to do gardening, I'm not going to go onto the property, but this is it. Um, so they can put a they could put a fence easily put a fence so let me drive you through the neighborhood and let me show you the pool and other homes and um, then i will take you to the hidden gem that i was telling you about see you in a second all right so speaking of how diverse the homes are so much diversity so much coolness so much greenery I love this neighborhood. I know that a lot of the people who are coming to Holly Springs are looking into new construction, but then again, be mindful of the fact that new construction is not going to have the serenity of the neighborhood or, or not all of them, right? I'm not generalizing, but um, definitely diversity from a perspective of how the homes were built, the colors, the topography of the place. This is super hilly and it is also fairly new at the same time, right? So think about the fact that when you say, I want something brand new, yes, if you want something that nobody has ever lived in, that's perfectly fine. However, if you want something new because you're afraid, you might be from a state where 20 years means a lot, just think about it, it's the home could actually be in a very good condition. The roof might be new, the HVAC might be new, the water heater, the siding, and you know, you could have a crawl space. And if you want the crawl space, a lot of people prefer to have that over a slab. So those are a lot of very legit points of view when it comes to choosing a neighborhood. You might not like to, to just not have a crawl space in case you wanna change something. So okay i think i went a little bit too far just looking at the pool and looking at what's happening so let me back up i'm very very careful here and i will park there at the pool 
So we are right here. As you can see, it's a very small, chic, private location. Not a lot of parking. As I said, there's only about 200 homes here. You cannot enter, they are closed. And the pool, let me take you a little bit closer to it. I hope nobody's going to mind since they're closed. All right, so you can see it a little bit better. <laughs> Maybe they are going to open later on today. So I think we've seen a little bit to kind of get your interest going and ask more questions anytime. And now let's see the hidden gem that not a lot of people know about. Alright, so I walked, I walked, and I walked again, and uh, without the car, there's not so much that I can do here, and I have actually reached the end of my destination, which is the hidden gem that I was mentioning to you about. Before I show it to you, I want to add the fact that uh, Fujifilm Dyson Biotechnology is actually um, bringing the largest manufacturing facility here in Holly Springs. They're going to bring a lot of jobs, it's a huge pharma company, probably you've heard about it. So it's definitely a big asset for the town of Holly Springs. And here I am at the end of my video with JT Creamery and this beautiful pavilion that was built here. There's a lot of things, really cool things that people enjoy doing here especially <laughs> at night there's a lot of people hanging out and there's um safe grass kitchen is right here they have crepes waffles acai balls so this is actually the coolest thing oh cool look at that i haven't seen this i've known about the jt um jt screamery as you can see it won a bunch of awards oh my god best milkshake and jt's yep so best milkshake here. Unfortunately, they are closed today. I wish they were open, but this is it, you guys. I hope you are going to come to Holly Springs. I hope you're gonna enjoy the place. Um, thank you for watching my video. Again, please connect with me about living here in um, Holly Springs or in Raleigh, in any of the suburbs. I'd love to get your call, to get a text from you and to show you around subscribe let me know if there's anything any neighborhoods or any information that could come handy as you can see most of my videos I mean all of them are not scripted I'm just showing you life as it is how we live how we eat how we thrive how we enjoy every single moment of our lives in beautiful North Carolina thank you again for watching subscribe and look at the other videos that I posted about the other areas I am posting every single week for you. Take care.